Hello. Hello. Hello, Bernardino. Hi. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, Marlene. How are you today? Fine. And you? Fine. Well, I think that I am a little bit sick, right? Today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's because of the weather. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Brenda Guadalupe. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Excellent. I'm okay also. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Carlita, Raquel. Are you here, Hello, Carlita? Hi. Hi. Uh, fine, teacher. Fine. You? Excellent. I think I'm okay also. Thank you so much. Nice to see you one more time. Let's see. Estrella, hello. Estrella, are you here? Estrella is not here? Yes, Estrella? No Estrella today. Okay, no problem. So, hello, Adri. Hi, Adri. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Uh, estoy teniendo problemas de audio. Escucho como cortado. Ah, really? What about sí. the rest? ¿Me escuchan bien los demás? Yo no? creo que es, yo creo que son mis los audífonos. Sí, voy a voy a probar. Permítame okay. un segundito. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. No, no problem. So it's already the hour, right? So I will start sharing my screen right now. Give me a second. And we're going to start with this part. Oops. Okay, so here we have it, right? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Thank you for being right here. Thanks for being punctual, right? It's the hour to start with today's class. Today's class, sorry. So remember that you have homework assignment, right? You have homework. Aha! Marlene, did you do the homework? Marlene, yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. What about you, Carlita? Did you? No. Ah, Carlita, oh my God. Okay, but you can do it right now, okay? Because at the end, we are going to do it, okay? So, guys, we are going to start with this little part. We are going to have new vocabulary for the day. For today, sorry. So I'm going to play a little video talking about some celebrations, right? Some important dates and the things that you can do in those dates. Pay attention because later you are going to create sentences and you are going to tell me those sentences. So I will start sharing this video, pay attention, and let me know if you can listen to it, right? Because I have problems with that. I don't know why. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special Can you listen to it? Yes, okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, Anniversary, Send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. All right. So here you have the things that you can do right here and the important celebration right so in the first place we have mother's day okay this th i want you to put your tongue between your teeth it's going to be mother's day mother's day it's going to be the same for father's day okay father's day okay then we have graduation graduation 
The other one is going to be wedding, right? Wedding. So do you know the meaning of this? This word? Or is the first time that you see that? Yes? It's boda, right? Exactly. Yes, that is boda. Wedding. Then we have anniversary, right? For example, um, you are dating with someone, with your boyfriend probably, right? And you have one year together. So you celebrate anniversary, right? There you go with that. Then we have send cards, give presents. Give presents means like to give a gift, okay? Do you remember the meaning of gift? It was regalo, right? So give presents. I will type it in the chat. Give presents is the same if I say give a gift, okay? The meaning is the same. Give a present or give a a gift, it's going to be the same. Then we have take pictures, sing songs, uh, dance, right? Eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, and eat special food. Do you have any new word here, guys, or not? Any new word? No, no new words, no. Okay, so I'm going to play no, I'm not going to play it. The thing is that I want you to create sentences, okay? Let me play just one more time the video so that you can see the example of the sentences I want you to create, okay? Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion. All right, so there you go with the example, right? The thing right here is that I want you to use be going to, to talk about the plans that you have, okay? For example, in the Mother's Day, I'm going to give a present in Mother's Day, for example, right? That's an example. Another one, I'm going to dance in my graduation, for example, right? So I want you to create at least one sentence per celebration, okay? One sentence telling me what you are going to do on Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary, okay? But I want you to use be going to. Take the example that you can see right here, okay? At least one sentence per celebration. Okay. Yes, Jessica? Hola, buenas noches. Hello, do you have any question? No. No, ah, okay. Here you have the things that you can do, right? Send cards, give presents so that you can have an idea. Let me know when you finish, okay? So that we can start. Teacher, perdón. Yes, Lisandro, hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Y la fórmula aquí, teacher? Ah, the formula is going to be B plus going to. The one that we were studying yesterday. Oh. Okay? Sorry. Okay, good.
Did you finish or not? Not. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Audrey, did you finish? I think so. <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. Tell me your teacher, sentence. ¿cuánt ¿Cuántas oraciones quieres, teacher? At least one sentence per celebration. Yeah. All the sentences or only one? All the sentences. Okay. And the first, oh. I'm going to be a present for my mother in the Mother's Day. And uh, number two, I'm going to prepare a special food, food for the Father's Day. And three, I'm going to take pictures for my son's graduation. And uh, four, they are going to dance for their wed wedding. Wedding. Wedding, yes. Wedding. And the last one, uh, they are they are. They are going to wear special clothes, clothes for the anniversary. Excellent. Thank you so much, Adri. That was great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then let's see, Brenda Guadalupe, did you finish? No. Okay. No problem. Let me see who else. Probably Sarai. Did you finish? No, teacher. No. Okay. Yes, Estrella Guadalupe, please. Go ahead. Yes. Um, I am going to start to kill for me, for me, Robert, direction. I am going to eat a special food for me in a large study. I am going to eat pay for me, for me. Mother's Day. Uh, I am going to give present Father's Day. I am going to send cards me way. Okay, excellent. It's going to be for my wedding, okay? Excellent. Thank you so much, Estrella. That was great. I appreciate it. Let's see. Marlene, did you finish? Marlene, sorry. I said Marlene. <laughs> no. No, okay. One more time, please. Okay, no problem. Let's see, Jenny, did you finish? The microphone. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, did you finish, Jenny? Um, solo de hacer dos. Um, I'm going to take pictures for Mother's Day. Uh, uh, I'm going to um, celebrate my parents' anniversary. Okay, yes, it's going to be just one little thing, right? It's going to be pictures, okay? Pictures. Pictures. I'm going to take pictures. Pictures, exactly. Another one, anniversary. Anniversary. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jenny. That was great. Let's see, Brenda. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> I'm going to give present on Mother's Day. Excellent. 
I'm going to sing songs on Father's Day. Okay. I'm going to have a party for my son graduation. Excellent. I'm going to eat cake for my friend wedding. 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 Exactly. I'm going to a special food for my anniversary. Excellent. Okay, that was so good. Thank you so much. Now let's see, I have right here Marlene, right? Go ahead, please. I'm going to dance, dance for Mother's Day. Uh, we are take a picture for the Father's Day. Aha, uh -huh. one more time, this one. Uh, I'm going to, no, sorry. Mm, see, we are take a picture uh -huh. for. What about going to? What is going to? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> we uh <-huh>. are <laughs> take, I going to take a picture for the father days. Exactly. Sorry. Don't worry. The other one, please. Two. I am going to eat cake for my graduation. Uh huh. And I am going to wear a special clothes for my wedding. Exactly. And uh -huh. and we are going to eat a special food for our four, fourth anniversary. Anniversary, exactly. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you, Marlene. Now let's see another person, probably Bernardino, right? Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What about you? Okay. Uh, the first one is I'm going to eat a special food for my son gradation. Okay. The another one, I'm going to send cards for the Mother's Day. I'm going to give present for the Father's Day. I'm going to take picture for my sister wedding and I'm going to have a party for my parents' anniversary. Excellent. That was so nice. Thank you so much, Bernardino. You're welcome. Excellent. What about Lisandro? Can you help me? Este niño mucho puede. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fire teacher. Okay. I am going to wear a suit to my sister's wedding. I'm going to flowers for the Mother's Day. I'm going to what? Sorry, the second one. I'm going to flowers uh -huh. for the Mother's Day. To flowers. Okay. It's going to be probably to buy flowers or to give flowers. To flowers. Flowers. Uh -huh. Because flowers is not a verb. Oh. Okay. Give that is flowers. why we need a verb. Probably okay. buy, okay. comprar. Or give, dar. Um, okay? Yeah. Give flower. Yes, thank you. The I'm, other. Going to, um, I'm going to give cake for the Father's Day. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to uh, give for the anniversary. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Me falta una, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál me falta? Yes. Ah, oh, la de la graduación. Ahí esa no la hice, teacher. Ok, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Hice. Yes, no problem. Ok, so just one little thing, ok? Remember, what is this? Who remembers? What is that? Traje. Traje, exactly. And what is the pronunciation in English? Suit. Suit, Suit. exactly. We say suit. suit. Yes, exactly, Alessandro. We say it suit. Because if we say sweet, we are talking about a candy, right? That are things different, different things, okay? So one is suit and the other one is sweet. Thank you so much, Alessandro. That was so great. Now let's see, Carlita, do you have yours? Okay. <laughs> Eh, la primera que hice, I'm going to give a present for my nephew graduation. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to sing song for Mother's Day. Sí. Yeah. I'm going to dance a special song for an anniversary. Uh -huh. eh, I'm going to prepare cake for my wedding. Okay, excellent. I'm going to have a picnic for the Father's Day. Excellent, thank you. I'm going to eat a special food for my students' graduate. Graduation. Graduation. Okay, excellent. That was so great. Thank you so much, Carlita. Let's see. Who else? Who else want to help me? Mm -hmm. Nobody else? Here we have Joel Mendoza, right? Hello. Are you here, Joel? No, Joel here. Okay, what about Maria Leticia? No, Maria Leticia. Okay, I'm taking notes about it because remember that participation is important. So, Joel Mendoza is not here. Then we have Maria Leticia neither. Then, let's see. Rosa Elba, are you here? Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you help me with your sentences, please? Eh, acabo de ingresar. Okay, no problem. Thank you for telling me. And let's see. Uh, Veronica Yamilet, hello, are you here? Hello, teacher. Hello, eh, can you tell me your sentences? Um, teacher, solo dos pude hacer. No problem. Tell me your sentences, please. Okay, I'm going to cele celebrate my father's birthday. I'm going to cele celebrate my mo my brother's graduation. Graduation. Okay, can you say the first one again, please? I'm sorry? Can you say number one again, please? Si puede decir de nuevo la número uno, porfa. Okay. Uh, I... I'm going to celebrate my father's uh, birthday. O oh, creo que me equivoqué era celebrar el día del padre era, ¿verdad? Exactly. It was going to be Father's Day. Yo lo tomé como como birthday. Uh -huh. Exactly. But yes, that was okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, oops, I don't know what I did. Okay, so here we have it, right? Now, guys, it is time to read. I will send you a picture in the group of WhatsApp so that you can see it clearer. Because if I have it right here, you are not going to, to see it well. So over there, go to WhatsApp, please. I just sent you the little reading that we have. I'm going to give you exactly five minutes, okay? Five minutes for you to read it. And then we are going to answer these questions, okay? Look at it. We have questions about the reading. So I want you to read it right now. Please, if you have questions or doubts, you can let me know and I will be right here, okay? So you have five minutes from now to take a look at that. Okay, go ahead, please. Teacher. Yes. Is each or each year? Each year. Each. Okay. Yes. Okay.
teacher. Tell me. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't eh, worry. ¿Qué significa best con V? Best. Mm -hmm. It's going to be chaleco. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, five minutes are done, as you could see right here. Did you finish the reading or not? Yes. 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 No. Yes or no? One person says yes, one says no. And the rest? No, uh, no. No yet. No. Okay, I'm going to no. give you. Two more minutes and no more, okay? So hurry up. Two more minutes and no more. Let's wait, Adri, okay? Just a second. <laughs> Okay, one more minute, okay? So hurry up. All right, so here we go, ready or not, here we go. So look at it, here we have these three sentences per reading, right? Or question, let's call it. Some of them are questions and some of them are sentences. So here we have 
when it's going to be Elena's birthday, according to reading number one, okay? It is separating by, by reading. So in reading number one, when is going to be Elena's birthday? On Saturday. Excellent. But I want you to tell me, okay, Elena's birthday, it's going to be on Saturday. Okay? Can you do it, Carlita? Okay. Voy a probar. Okay. <laughs> Elena's birthday is on Saturday. It's going to be. It's going to be Saturday. On Saturday. Perfect. Thank you so much. What about number two? What is Elena going, going to do for her birthday? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? What is Elena going to do? Elena is going to go out with her friends. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is the, the answer. Now, let's see number three. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 22 times. That is true or false? False. 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 Why? Because it's 21. It's 21. Do you know the meaning of pull? Halar. Exactly. Yes. Halar, Loreja, right? To pull. Excellent. Now let's see. Reading number two. What is Jan Chin Chi? So sorry for, for that name, right? I don't know that name. So I'm going to say Yang Chin Chi going to do for her birthday. Yang Chin Yang Chin Chi going to do a ceremony family. Exactly. Family ceremony. Family ceremony. Ceremony. Exactly. Thank you so much. Excellent. Number five. What is Yan Xin Shi going to get? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Probably Garlandino knows. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Give me a few minutes. I I went uh, a a little uh, meeting here in the, in the in the office. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Don't okay. worry, Marlene. Marlene, can you help me? And in the forward, in the first question is. It's going to be number really? five. What Five. is she, she going to get? Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. The present yeah. in color red. Okay, this is about yeah. the reading in she yellow. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. No problem. Ah, okay. Okay, who knows the answer? The answer of the thing that Yang Xin Shi is going to get. Uh huh. Who knows? Yeah. Sure, uh, she, she is going to get money. Money, exactly. Yes, that is the correct answer. Thank you so much. Number six. This is true or false? Yang Xin Shi. It's going to cook some noodles on her birthday, Lisandro. That is true or false? She's going to cook some noodles on the birthday. Uh, yes, in the birthday, the the young chin, the uh -huh. mother cook noodles. Ah, the mother, right? So that is true or false? This one is under. You don't understand. Okay, no problem. Thank you for telling me. It says Yan Xin Shi 
is going to cook some noodles for her birthday. No. No, right? No. Exactly. That is going to be false. Exactly, Lisandro. That is the answer. Because her mother is going to cook them, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's see with reading number three. This is for you, Marlene, okay? On her birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True or false? True. Exactly. Thank you so much. Number two. How old is Mr. Aoki going to be? Mm -hmm. Veronica Yamilet. And the other one is going to be for Jenny, okay? So be ready. Aha, Veronica. How old is Mr. Aoki going to be? No, Veronica Yamilet? Okay, no, Veronica Yamilet. So then... Sarai, how old is Mr. Aoki going to be? Um, old is sixteen. Birthday. Uh huh. Sixteen or sixty? Sixty. Sixty. Exactly. So, I want you to tell me the complete sentence, okay? It's going to be, Mr. Aoki, it's going to be 60. Yes, Mr. Okay. Aoki going to be 60. Excellent, thank you so much. And this one is for Jenny. What is the name of his birthday in Japan, Jenny? Mm -hmm. What is the name? Hello. Hello. In Japan, the order. Yes. Um, they, they, birthday, uh, Mirs Aoki, 60. Okay. Yes. That is the age. But I'm asking about the name of his birthday. Naoki. Get it? Yes. That is the person, right? It says right here, what is the name of his birthday in Japan? In Japan, they have a name for the 60th birthday. What is the name, Jenny? 60th. Yes, it's okay, yes, it's 60, the age. Thank you so much, yes. Carlita, <laughs> what is the name? No problem, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Kareki. Exactly. That is the name. Okay. Over there you, you go. It says in Japan, the 60th, the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki, right? There you go with the name. Thank you so much. The two of you, Jenny and Carlita. Then we have reading number four. Philip's friends are going to make him out, to take him out to dinner on his birthday. That is true or false, guys? It's false. It's false, right? Why? Because he he going to uh, uh, invite invite uh -huh. friends. Exactly. Yes. Excellent. That is a tradition in, in France, right? Good job. Then we have number two. How many friends is Philip going to invite? Aha. Uh -huh. How many friends? Three friends. Three friends, exactly. Only three friends. Then, the last one. How old is Philip going to be? Mm -hmm. Yes? He's going to be 30. 30. 30, exactly. Yes. Thank you so much. He's going to be 30 or 30, as you said. Now I have a question for you. Do you know the parts of the body, guys? Do you know the parts of the body or not? Aha. No. So, so. <laughs> so, no. Okay. Let's start with something easy. Do you know the names? of the finger 
the name of the fingers in English? Each name? Yeah. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. We have a name uh, for each of them in Spanish. And we also have a name for each of them in English. Okay? So I'm going to tell you, for example, this one is the thumb finger. Thumb. Okay. I will type it in the chat so that you can have it. Thumb finger. Thumb finger. This one, it's going to be index finger. Okay, this one. Index finger. This one, it's going to be middle finger. This one, right? The malcreado. It's going to be middle finger. <laughs> yeah. What about this one? This one, it's going to be ring finger. Okay. Ring finger. Why? Because you have the ring there, right? Exactly. Exactly, Bernardino. And the last one, this is something easy, guys. Do you know the name of this one? No. Oh, my God. I can't believe you. Okay, this is going to be pinky finger. Pinky finger. Okay. That is why you say pinky promise, right? Pinky promise. <laughs> exactly. That is why you said pinky promise, okay? This is going to be the pinky finger. Okay, so there you go. We have thumb finger, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Okay? Something new, right, for today? The five names. There you go with that. So now we are going to watch a little video about the names of the body. Okay, <laughs> the different parts that we have in the body. And later we are going to have an activity with that. Okay, so please pay attention to that. And later I will help you a little bit with the pronunciation of each of them in case you have questions or doubts. Do you have questions about the pronunciation of the name of the fingers or not? No. Yes, teacher, I have a question. No, teacher, I don't. No, teacher. Thank you, Hernan. No, teacher. teacher, I don't. Thank you. I appreciate no. it. Okay. So let's watch the video and pay attention to it. Okay, but hold on, because the teacher is having problems, right? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, Okay, so there you go with the pronunciation, right? Each of them. We have head. Do you know the meaning of head? Cabeza. Cabeza, exactly. Then we have eye. Oh. Exactly. Ear. Oh. Exactly. Then we have nose. Nariz. Nariz. 
Mouth. Boca. Boca. Mouth Boca. is the complete, right? Because if I say mouth, this one is not mouth. This is labio. lip. Exactly. Lip is labio. Okay. I will type it right here in the chat so that you can have it. Lip is labio. Then we have tooth and teeth. What is the difference? Tooth and teeth. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé. Uno es en plural y otro es en singular, ¿verdad? Exactly. Pero no, no sé cuál de los dos. No, no, no me acuerdo. Okay, tooth, it's going to be diente, in singular. Okay. Only one, tooth. And teeth, it's going to be dientes. Okay. I related, lo relaciono yo, y así se me quedó, por si a ustedes les sirve, que la que lleva E significa dientes. Okay. Dientes. Teeth. And tooth. There you go. Then we have chin. What is chin? Who knows? Sería como la quijada. Exactly. Barbie. Exactly. Mandíbula, mentón, quijada, right? There you go. She. Then we have back. Okay, spine. Exactly. Then we have shoulder. Hombros. That is what we say, right? The shampoo. Head and shoulder. But in the store, we don't go, Niña Marta, can you give me head and shoulder, right? That is the way we say it. We don't say, can you give me head and shoulder, right? Because in my name, yes. And then we have chest. What is chest? Perdón, teacher, ¿qué era shoulder? Yes, Lisandro? Shoulder, ¿qué dijo que Shoulder era? is hombro. Hombro. Yes. Then we have chest. What is Pecho. chest? El pecho. Pecho, exactly. Yes. Stomach. This is something that you know, right? Stomach. Estómago. ¿Alguien sabe cómo decimos panza en inglés? It's not stomach. Ajá. Panza en inglés. Ajá. How do you say belly? Pan? Belly. Exactly. Thank you. Belly. There you go. There you have it in the chat. Belly. That is panza, right, or barriga. Then we have throat. Throat. Look at the pronunciation. Is the similar to the mouth? You put the tongue between your teeth. We say mouth, tooth, teeth, and throat. Throat. Okay. Throat. Throat. Trachea. throat. Yes? Throat is trachea. Yes, it could be garganta also. Exactly. Then we have neck. Okay. Cuello. Exactly. Yes. Neck, neck. Then we have wrist. What is that? A muñeca? Muñeca. muñeca. Exactly. We don't say doll, right? Tengo dolor en la doll, right? No. That is not. It's going to be wrist. Okay. Wrist. Then we have arm. The brazo. El brazo. Exactly. Then we have elbow. Codo. Codo. Exactly. Do you have a, an elbow friend, right? The caño, right? Elbow. Exactly. Codo. Exactly. Codo, Marta. Then we have Así. the leg. Ya voy a saber cómo molestar sin que se den cuenta. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are very elbow, right? <laughs> we can say it in that way. And then we have knee. Knee, it's going to be rodilla. Okay? Rodilla. Knee. Yes, this one. And then we have ankle. Ankle. Tobillo? Yes, tobillo. And you may ask, teacher, what is the difference between ankle, tobillo? And tío. Yes. Leg, leg, pierna. Leg es pierna. Yes. Pierna. Yes. Tobilla y tobillo. So the pronunciation. I want you to be careful with this, okay? With the pronunciation of these two words. One is ankle. This is going to be tobillo. Look at the 
the form of my mouth. We say uncle, uncle. uncle. Open uncle. my mouth. That is uncle. tío. Exactly. But when I say tío, uncle, uncle. uncle. It's uncle. different the pronunciation. I don't say uncle. I say uncle. Even the pronunciation is short, right? La pronunciación es más corta. We say uncle and uncle. You see? Uncle, uncle, and uncle. uncle. Exactly. Uncle. There you go with the difference between Tobillo and Tío. You see? Riman, right? Tobillo and Tío. And the pronunciation is similar. Okay. So there you go with the parts of the body. Do you have any question about the pronunciation? No, not teacher. No. Excellent. Okay, so if we don't have any question, we are going to move on into the next thing. Give me a second. Okay, here we have it. Look at it. We have a little, little conversation right here because we are going to talk about illnesses. Do you know the meaning of illnesses? Illnesses. Enfermedades. Okay illnesses, enfermedades. I will type it in the chat so that you can have it. Illnesses, enfermedades, there you go. Okay, so look at it. I will read the dialogue once and then I will ask for volunteers. So pay attention to the pronunciation. Okay, we have Brian and Kinishi. Hey Kinishi, how are you? Oh. I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Ah, that's so bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Mm -hmm. New words. Do you see new words here? Headache. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And back, 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 back. Uh -huh. We have headache. Ay, Fernandino, no. what is headache? Dolor de cabeza. Exactly. Dolor de, Dolor de cabeza. We say headache. And then I have... Ah, backache. Dolor de espalda. Exactly. Exactly. Homesick, yes, Lisandro? Homesick. 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 Aha. If you see homesick, no, you can say, está. está enferma la casa, right? No. It means that you miss your home. Okay? Homesick. You miss your home. For example, right, um, you travel to another country and you are far from El Salvador. So you can say, Ay, I feel homesick, right? Extraño la casa, right? Extraño mi ranchito, right? You can say it. So that is homesick, okay? You miss your home, basically. So I want you to be careful with the pronunciation of headache, okay? Look at the final pronunciation. We say ache, ache, okay? Headache, backache, okay? We can have a stomachache also. We can have toothache, okay? Over there you go with the pronunciation of that. It's going to be ache. Mm -hmm. Another one. Do you see another new word right here? Yes? Yes, Marta? Todavía hay algo que no entiendo. Yes, tell me. What? ¿El qué, Marta? Ahorita me está diciendo de que pronuncie esto eso es 
No, 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 es que yo escuché que usted habló. Entonces, por eso no, le pregunté. Está lo que usted está diciendo. Ah, ok, Marta. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Ok, no problem. What about flu, guys? What is flu? ¿Cómo gripe. 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 Gripe, right. Exactly. That is gripe. Yes. Then we see another <laughs> one. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, do you remember what's the matter? ¿Qué te sucede? Ajá, what's the matter? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Cuál es el problema? Right? Exactly. So over there you go. Any question about the pronunciation of any new word or not? Everything is clear, right? Yes. Yes, everything is clear. So if everything is clear, I need two volunteers, right? To help me reading this part. Do I have a volunteer? But I want you to read it with the best English you have, right? The best English. So that yeah. you can see. Mm, oh my God, they study, right? Okay. I can see Bernardino and Estrella also, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. Can yes. I, can I start right now with Brian? Okay. Yes. Hey, yes. hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a pet and like... Maybe you have a flu. No, I think I just heard a little. Uh, I'm sick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's see, have a lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a good idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you so much, the two of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, just we are going to be careful with the pronunciation of some words. We say headache. Okay, let's repeat all together headache. Headache. Headache, exactly. Then we have backache. 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 Like, exactly. Back then we have another one. Idea. Okay. Idea. Idea. Exactly. Idea. Then, guys, most of the time when you see actually, you think actualmente, right? But actually... Mm -mm, it is not actualmente. What is actually? Who knows? Actually. Actually, it's going to be de hecho. De hecho. Exactly, Brenda. Thank you so much. Okay. Actually, is not actualmente. It is de hecho. Okay. It is the hecho. So there you go with this. I think that we are going to finish right now because of the hour. But for tomorrow, we are going to continue with this, talking about illnesses, okay? Ah, no, tomorrow no class, right? Oh my God, the teacher is crazy, right? So tomorrow no, guys. Tomorrow no class until Friday, okay? On Friday, we are going to have classes. Good. Okay, teacher. Okay, but tomorrow. Okay, teacher. So yes. that was it. Bye bye. Thanks for being right here and hope to you. see you on Friday. Friday. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. bye guys. Bye, teacher. Bye. bye. bye.